Many business databases are made up of multiple tables. And in many cases, these tables cannot be joined because the relationships are one to many or many to one. Yet, in most cases, business people do need to understand the relationships between the data in these tables, and they must be able to slice and dice the data to answer their key questions. This creates extreme analysis and query difficulties for all reporting and most analysis tools. Advisor, however, handles these situations easily. This is because data in our in-memory data pool does not need to be pre-aggregated and because we can easily set up one and two-way color, selection, and filtering links between the tables. Let's see how it works. In this case, we're looking at an alumni information system for a major university. The data comes in nightly from roughly 20 Oracle tables and is displayed to a group of people through an advisor server dashboard. In this case, there's multiple pages to the dashboard. Here we're looking at the core page, ratings and overview. This data is attached to a core Oracle table. It consists of roughly 94,000 prospects, and here are some of the key metrics aggregated from that table um, based on what's important for the specific problem. Now, in this case, what we're trying to do is raise money uh, from football players to enhance the football stadium. So we're going to want to look to the sports table, find the football players, then go back to the giving table, find the football players who have given over, say, $40,000, then come back to the core ta table to see uh, what the makeup of this population is. We probably also want to look at the demographics table to see where they live. So let's go through this exercise. So we have another page in the dashboard called Sports and Activities, which connects to those tables. And when we look at sports, we see that um, there are 76,000 prospects, 78% who have never played a sport. If you go up to football, uh, there are 2,796 football players. Let's select them with the mouse. So what this is doing is tagging all of the uh, prospect ID numbers in the sports table who have played football. I'm now going to go up to the top and get rid of the, uh, the, other, uh, the other prospects of the other entities. I'll see in a second that the football players, and here they are, there's 2,796 of them, and they show up in the prospect list over here by name in giving amounts. Um, I see some of them, uh, 314 have played rugby. Uh, there's a bunch of track and field. So the, here's where you're seeing this one-to-many relationship. So I've tagged football players, gone back and recorded that in the core table, then propagated back to the sports table to show those specific people what other sports they played. Now I want to go to the giving table because I want to find the football players that have given the most money. So this is a set of metrics for giving. There's a metric called alumni fund six-year total, which is recent giving. So I can see you know, these football players, a lot of them haven't given very much. Let's go down to the bottom and grab the bigger givers. So I'll go down on roughly $50,000, sweep over the bigger gift over the last six years. So I'm going to take my 2,796. It's going to drop to 21 people. So again, now I've, I've queried it on the giving table is propagated back to the core table, uh, and uh, I now have this set. Let's just drop down and exclude everything else and look at this subset of the population. We're going to now go look at demographics, uh, which is another page in the dashboard attached to another chart and see where they live. So you're mostly married and so forth. Like over here, the home state, uh, I see that of the 21, there's four in California. Looks like there's uh, a couple in Texas, so they're pretty spread, but there is a group in California. Uh, so let me select this group off the demographics table, which is going to propagate back to the other tables. And I have a list of four people I probably want to do something with in, uh, in California. So let's go back to the ratings and overview. Here they are, four people. The good news is they've all given quite a bit of money. I can see my ratings and some of the other measures on these people, assign a staff to them, and go, go forward. Now think about doing this uh, with a uh, cross-table analysis in a Cognos or a business object or an STSS. It's very difficult requires significant database and query expertise. An advisor is just a couple of minutes. An end user can do this with a mouse, a very, very different prospect. Now, let's the last thing. Let's see how we set this up. So to bring this data in, we go to the task view. It's a data, uh, new data source. Uh, one of the tasks will bring up a wizard. I can then go through this and select data from any of a number of different data types, be it you know, Excel, Oracle, SQL Server, um, and so forth. Um, and I just go through this, for example, if I want to go to Oracle, I go to Database, I go to Next, go to Oracle, log in, it's going to give me my table structure, I just bring in tables. Let's get out of the data wizard. So I brought in you know, my 20 tables, now I need to link and join them together. We have a whole data workshop, let's open that up. We'll go to the View menu, open the data workshop, um, take a look at it, here's one of the tables, the affiliations table, you know, here's the other tables I brought in. 
the affiliation table. I'm looking at the uh, the different dimensions of it, and here I've got a spread of the ID. Here's the ID numbers I still look at of the whole population. Down here are all the links and joins that I've created. Uh, and I've called them different things. Some of them are color links, selection links, table joins. So there's quite a few of them because this is a fairly rich uh, data pool with roughly 20 tables. To build these links, I have a link and join wizard. I open it up. It just navigates me through what kind of link I want to select, uh, which direction from which origin to which table. If I just click through this, you know, I get a feel for uh, what this is all about. Uh, so again, uh, with Advisor, let me get out of the wizard here for a second. Uh, you can quickly set up these links and joins, and it's a fairly simple process uh, for an analyst or one of our consultants or the dashboard author to link these tables together, then serve them up to the business users who can do the kind of analysis I just did in just a few minutes. Uh, thank you very much.